Hello. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about psychic powers. Are you psychic? Am I psychic? Who is psychic and who isn't psychic? And what does it even mean to be psychic? So these are some of the things that I'm going to talk about today. And it is my hope that after watching this video that you will walk away with a clear understanding of what it means to be psychic, what psychic powers are, and who is or isn't psychic. <laughs> anyway, keep watching because this is going to be good. All right, so right now, pretty much everywhere you look and everywhere you go, somebody somewhere has an opinion on what psychic powers are and who has them and who doesn't, right? And there are so many varying versions of what it is and what it means that it's getting to be really confusing and often misleading. Okay, and most of these explanations leave you trying to piece together some vague understanding of something ethereal and elusive, as if maybe there's like a uh, psychic fairy that comes down and bestows upon you her psychic gift of psychic powers. No. <laughs> and Sometimes you're made to feel like you have to work so hard at achieving these goals of having these psychic powers that, that maybe you won't ever achieve them. And neither of those are true. Okay, the truth is now, and mind you, this is the truth according to my understanding of it. Okay, so what I want you to do is to run everything I say, and mind you, you should do this for pretty much everything you do and everything you see, um, is to run it through your internal guidance system to see if whatever I am saying resonates with you in your truth. Okay, so if you do not know what I am talking about or you've not seen that video, I'm going to put a link up above here. So please go watch that now and then come right back because the information in that video is going to really help you to discern if what I'm saying is true for you and resonates for you. Okay, and this is important to me that you do that. <laughs> All right, so let's get back into this. So the truth is... Da -da 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 -da. that those psychic powers, those psychic tools are our natural means of communication. Now, what do I even mean by that? Okay. Okay. So the funny thing is, is that we get so caught up on our physical life and our physical experience that we forget that we are also energy beings of light, right? <laughs> and these energy beings of light naturally use these psychic powers, these psychic skills for communication and relaying of information, okay? So it is a natural extension of who you are. Now, it's not like you are sometimes physical and sometimes this energy body. You are both always. Okay, well, wait a minute. <laughs> you won't always be in your physical body, but I digress. <laughs> so anyway, during this physical experience, you are both. You are both a physical body and an energy body. And because you are both, you use both for extracting information out of your world and for communicating information that you wouldn't normally do within the physical realm, okay? It gives you that extra information. And the thing about it is that you're doing this all the time and you just don't know it. And the reason why you don't know it or you don't pay attention is because it's so subtle and so natural that you're literally doing it all the time and you just don't even notice. Okay, so let's go through a few examples and maybe that'll help you to see what I mean. Okay, so the first one, 
let's say you walk into a room, right? And you can feel the energy of that room and it has this intensity to it, almost like electricity. And it feels like there had been a big argument in there just before you got there, right? But if you look with your physical senses, you're not detecting that but you can feel it and pick it up. And what that is, that's called clairsentience, and that's clear feeling. And what you're doing is you're picking up the information of that room energetically through your energy body, okay? And you're feeling that in your energy body. That's what that clear feeling sense is, okay? And you have several of these senses. Now we're going to talk about four of them specifically. So there's clairsentience like I talked about, that's clear feeling. And then there is clear knowing, which is claircognizance. There's also clear seeing, which is clairvoyance, and there's clear hearing, which is clairaudience, okay? And all of these are your natural energetic means for communicating and receiving information. <laughs> so yeah, they are totally normal and natural and you are using them all the time. Okay, and they're also, they're not as elusive as they are made to be, like they're mysterious and, you know, hard to understand. No, they are so normal and natural that you just overlook them. Okay, that's, that's what they are. So let's, let me give you another example. Let's say, let's say you lost your keys. Okay. And when you shut your eyes and you look in your mind's eye, let's say you have an image of these keys falling in between the couch cushions. And so when you go to look, voila, there they are, right? And how, how did you figure that out? Well, your brain is going to go, oh yeah, well, I just deduced that or I remembered that but you didn't. <laughs> that was actually that psychic information. And your brain actually works a little differently. So let me help to explain this a little bit better. So your thought process and the way that you think tends to be a little more linear and it also requires effort. Like when you're thinking, you can feel the effort that you are expending to do those thoughts, right? But with that psychic information, it tends to just pop into your awareness, okay? Like out of the blue, out of nowhere, okay? So they work very differently. So if you notice that information is just popping into your awareness, then that is that psychic information. And the funny thing is, is that you've been doing it all the time and blaming your brain on that awesome information that you've been getting. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> so yeah, you've been doing it all the time and this is 100% normal and natural, okay? So yeah, they the things work differently and you just want to learn to discern the difference between the two, okay? Now I I hope that I have conveyed a deeper understanding of this and over the next four videos I'm going to go into real depth into each of these four clairs as I call them. So each video, each each subsequent video that I have will go into each individual Claire and I'm hoping that after each video you will have a much deeper understanding of how you already use these skills and that's what they are. They're skills that you're developing and strengthening. So the more that you recognize how you use them and when you use them, the more you can notice them in the future and the more you can strengthen them and then they will begin to get more powerful. Okay, so that is my hope that I can help you with that.
So please stay tuned to my upcoming next four videos in particular. So you're going to want to uh, subscribe and click the notification button because that will let you know when those videos have come out. All right. And if this video has given you anything, I would love it if you would like because that lets me know that you like my video and that would be wonderful. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this has meant something to you and I look forward to sharing more in the upcoming videos. You have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.